Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Burgers. On today's video, I'm going to be recreating the Oklahoma fried onion burger straight out of El Reno, Oklahoma. Let's get going. So the Oklahoma fried onion burger, in my opinion, is probably one of the most iconic hamburgers in America. Born out of the Depression, a little town called El Reno, Oklahoma, about 30 minutes outside of Oklahoma City, the Hamburger Inn birthed the Oklahoma fried onion burger. Basically, again, Depression era, no one had money. The owner was trying to feed his customers a good meal and save himself a little money, serve it at a good value. It was five cents for one burger and an order of fries. And basically what he did was paper thin sliced onions smashed into the hamburger meat. He didn't have to use as much hamburger meat. It became a nice filling meal. Um, currently there are three, they call them the big three, Oklahoma onion burgers in El Reno. There's Roberts, Roberts came around in 1929. There's Sid's Diner, probably the most famous place now, but they came around in 1989. And then there's Johnny's, they're still there. I, I wanna say it was 1943. So really Roberts was there serving these people that were you know, leaving Oklahoma because of the Dust Bowl, the second whammy that hit Oklahoma during the Depression era. Now, a few years ago, I was in Oklahoma and I hooked up with my good friend Cosmo from Cosmo's Q, a great guy and um, I proudly call him friend. Anyway, we, went to El Reno where he grew up and he worked at Roberts when he was a juvenile delinquent making hamburgers. So um, he and I have had a lot of conversations about, you know, his, pa his passion for the Oklahoma onion burger and his thoughts of the videos that were out there. And I had done an old, you know, a video a long, long time ago on the onion burger. My video was based solely on um, just soaking up videos of the owners of both of these restaurants making burgers. I think I did a pretty good job. Sitting at the counter, we, he and I went to Roberts and then um, Sid's, sitting at the counter watching them make the burgers kind of let me know there's a few other things that I needed to do. Anyway, let's get going. Uh, first thing, some equipment you're going to need to do a legit smashed onion burger, get in the style we're going to do it. Uh, they fashion a brick layers trowel into a spatula. And if you wanna do this, really all you need to do is buy a brick layers trowel. And those are those, you know, kind of pointed trowels, they call them throws. Um, at Home Depot, your local hardware store, and you cut that point off and then just, you know, bevel the edge. Uh, this is actually a little longer than the trowels they use at the restaurants like Sid's and, and Robert's and Johnny's. Theirs are actually cut about right here, but I don't honestly see the purpose of it. I'm thinking it's just to eliminate weight because they're cooking so many hamburgers. Just, again, it just helps with the fatigue. Um, at the very least, get a nice, firm, sturdy spatula like this. Um, this will do the trick. Um, I've actually found a link of a, of a business that's selling these bricklayer kind of trowel spatulas. I'll, I'll put it down below. Now the other piece of equipment you'll need is a mandolin. So here's a mandolin I have. Again, it's not a lot of money to buy one of these things. And we're using yellow Spanish onions. And to give you a visual, see, you can actually see through this piece of onion. Now I know I'm going to be asked, I'm leaving the glove on this hand. Um, we went to a friend's house the other night to celebrate his son's birthday. They had one of those Oculus headset things. And in the virtual world, <laughs> I was throwing a punch at a bad guy, but in the real world, I punched a, <laughs> punched a cabinet and laid my knuckle over. So I have a Band-Aid on here, and it always kind of grosses me out when you see someone cooking with a Band-Aid. So keeping the glove on. Now, the other piece of equipment you'll need to really get this thing right is at the very least, like a stovetop griddle, you know, stovetop flat top. Um, I'm using a Blackstone griddle. Any, any of these large griddles like this, whatever, you know, Camp Chef, whatever brand, are perfect. You can cook it, one of these on a, a cast iron skillet, but really, it, it would, to do it right, to you know, get everything right, it would need to be a really big skillet. So, uh, again, a, a stovetop 
cast iron griddle, they're not expensive anymore. So I'm gonna take my spatula, just kind of preheat it a little bit. I just like to get a little bit of heat. I don't want it searing hot. Um, these three burners here, I'm running those at medium high, which is about 400 degrees. This very last burner I have off, but there's plenty of residual heat. So here's the meat, it's 80-20 ground chuck. Now, SIDS, they form theirs into kind of a, like a puck, you know, a thick puck. Robert's a meatball. I'm gonna lay those down. Now, they're not seasoning meat. Again, I, I've seen these recent videos popping up. They're not seasoning them right now. Um, with a kind of a light hand, I mean, a, a medium touch, I guess, we're gonna smash these. You don't want to fully smash them just yet. We're going to take a lot of onions, throw these on. Here's where the fun comes in. Now again, here's SIDS. We're gonna season the onion, basically the onions, with some salt and some pepper. Now Roberts, they don't season their meat at all. So I'm guessing it's decades of cooking on a flat top. The spirits of all those cooks season it for them. Now SIDS toast their buns. The buns down here to toast. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give these a flip. Now, both of these restaurants, after the flip, they give it a press. And I'm guessing that's just to get, you know, that onion more cooked. Cheese is an option, American cheese. And I'm not sure if they were adding cheese in the early 30s, but they definitely do now. Now, Roberts, they steam their buns. So I'm going to put the heel on top of that cheese. And what they do is they put it off to the side, the second bun kind of off to the side, and they're allowing that steam to come through. All right, you can see the cheese is definitely melted. So SIDS. Roberts, I can already feel this bun nice and steamed. And this is how both restaurants serve their burgers to the customer, but they're going to be accompanied by a side of dill pickle chips that you can add, and there's mustard and ketchup on the table. So I'm gonna serve mine up how I like it. Some mustard. Some dill pickles. Here we go. All right, let's try these out. I'm gonna go with Roberts first. So this is Sid's Roberts. Right off the bat, I can feel that the bun is softer on the Roberts bun here. Yeah, I mean, the bun feels very, very soft. Mm. This burger works, I mean, it's so good. Let me try Sid's. So I am actually getting the salt and pepper, and I like that better. I'm guessing, again, Roberts, they were doing it. This is, Roberts is the most traditional way of doing this. I'm guessing that's how the Hamburger Inn was doing it. But SIDS, I, I like that salt and pepper on the onions. I'm guessing Roberts didn't, you know, it was probably, again, saving money, and they had just hordes of people leaving you know Oklahoma because of the Dust Bowl and they were just cranking these things out. Um, I'm not totally missing the salt and pepper. I mean the, the Roberts style is a great burger but I think that the salt and pepper added just pushes SIDS a little over the edge again in my opinion. No offense to anyone in El Reno but wow great burger. Anyway guys Thanks for stopping by Ballistic Burgers. If you're not sub, please do ring the notification bell.
Give it a thumbs up if you like it. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.